Hi. I think I might be early, but is there a party here today? <laughs> I did nine months teaching deprived kids gymnastics. Is it going to be just us? When's the birthday boy due? I'm a busy person. Own business, Pilates instructor, yoga guru. <laughs> so you see quite a lot of Bob then? Once seen, never forgotten. Oh, some people hold a special place. Like when we were at the fishnet launch and he got me to do the splits. He said he'd never seen a woman so bendy. Please leave him alone. Brenda, I'm really sorry that Bob slept with someone else. I honestly am, but I can tell you now, whoever she is, is not me. We get to this point only to find out that you've actually been having an affair with him for six months, even though he was leaking secrets to the competition and banging the office tarts every spare five minutes. Your father insisted we buy that. Hmm, but that'd be plenty of work. <sighs> Stop it, Dave, you're embarrassing the girl. Get rid of this rust bucket and get yourself a sensible motor car. Boy, gradually rusting faster than you're repairing it. It's not fair barging in like this. She'll love it. You get it into her, she's not your little precious anymore. She's a grown woman who needs her privacy. He's extremely good looking. You didn't tell us about it. This beautiful girl must be your sister. How's she doing? How's Charlie? Oh, he's rich and good looking. Hi. Um, my boss's car is making a horrible noise. Could you have a look at it for me? Can you bring it back in about five days, love? Seriously? Yeah, we're a bit busy at the moment. <coughs> Mr. Peterson, uh, customer satisfaction. Uh, Mr. Hobbs, I think you'll find we've got five customers waiting for a bit of satisfaction. Please, I'm going to get in terrible trouble. Don't tell me you've done it already. Oh, it wasn't such a big job. I mean, you listen, she's almost... purring. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice to have a top mechanic close at hand. It's getting awfully late to find a b and Unless you happen to know of one. Yeah, I, uh, I certainly do, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to hear about it over a coffee at night. <laughs> <laughs> Alone at last? Yeah. Manny, I've told you about that before. I know you're only trying to help, but please... No, I cleared the spillage first. Please, my love. Just try to spend a little less time on the shop floor. So sorry to disturb you, but I wonder if I could have your autograph. No. No. Oh. I'm at a wedding, for God's sake. I'm here to celebrate true love, not scribble my legible signature on stupid bits of paper that you can flog on eBay so that the next wedding you can wear a less hideous hat. <laughs>